Beans, you can mix flesh tones from any number of different combinations. The most exciting flesh tones can be mixed from complementary colors. Now here I have yellow, violet, white, and orange. I'm adding just the tiniest amount of violet to this puddle of yellow that I've pulled over here. Now this yellow is kind of a greenish yellow, so it's, you know, So I'm getting kind of a nice flesh tone right here. But I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. A little bit more violet. A little bit more violet. It's gotten too dark now, hasn't it? But I'm going to put this around here. It might be a little bit too light still, so I'm going to add a little bit more purple to that. So this could be like a shadowy color. And then maybe a little bit over here. And I'm going to go a little bit darker even for the shadow under my lip. And maybe even a little bit darker. For some of these shadows, you want it to be even darker. So I'm going to put the dark areas in first. And a dark area there. So then I'm going to try and lighten this up and brighten it up a little bit over here and put some brighter areas in here so around the bottom of my chin would be brighter maybe even lighter than that and above the cheek would be lighter so with this tempera paint, you can work um, in stages. You can kind of cover up some areas, but it also is always water soluble. So if you want to clean some area up, you can come back and wash it up a little bit with some water. But the edge of my face should probably be a little bit darker there then. And then my ear even darker still. Make sure you leave enough room on your palette for different variations of skin tone. And you can leave a little bit of white here and there. Um, that's okay. And you can smooth this out quite a bit. And 
and paint around the details. 